biz artık e, yaşlı bir mezun olmuş bir söylediğimiz vücut hakkında ve biz ben de hesap ederim çok e, mezunlu bir e, filme de bakmam. Ben de ben de hesap ederim ki yaşlı ki film İngiliz filmindeydi ve burada İngiliz dedi bana var mı var olan da imkanlar var idi ki terk etsinler. Bugün hakkında ümumiyyətlə mən belə başa düşürəm ki, burada iştirak edən bizim həmbətənlərin, bizim yerli ahalinin nümayəndələrinin əksəriyyətinin təsəvvürü var idi. Çünki artıq 1990-cı ildən sonra biz hər il bu günü edirdik, matəm edirdik. Amma mənim simamda, mənim düşəncəmdə biz eyni zamanda onların ruhları şad olmaq üçün biz həməşə yadımızda saxlayıb və onların həyatın hesabına, onların həyatlarının ruhlarının hesabına bugün yadımızda saxlamalıyıb ki, Azərbaycan Respublikası kimi bir müstəqil dövlət qurulu və yaşayır və həmişə yaşayacaq. İcazə verir söz, mən də İngiliz dilində də bir neşə gəlmədiyim. Good evening. My English speaking friends, I would say, people who represented people of the United Kingdom. It's a special day in Azbacan history, actually. And I'm glad that, actually, I thank Azbacani House, Ali Bersal, and their colleagues for facilitation of this day. If you remember, Previously, we, we held this uh, this event at the embassy, but uh, I supported the idea that we have to move from the embassy I mean, uh, to the Azerbaijani house. Next year, maybe we shall move to another place. And in my understanding, it will be better to have a bigger audience. But, uh, what I'm actually thinking about, uh, and uh, the most important is to bring the truth about the event. If you mentioned by the by the movie that it was told that Azerbaijan was in a full blockade, I was in Baku that that day, and uh, before the invasion of the troops, uh, all the mass media and TV and radio was actually paralyzed and broken and out of order, and that's why the world didn't know what's going on, and it was a kind of. Uh, the, with all the respect that the people in the world have to uh, Gorbachev because of his uh, a special role in the collapse of the Soviet Union. But the people do not know that he was the one who actually confirmed the employment of the troops, unfortunately. And that's, that's, why, why, that's why he's not a popular person in Azerbaijan, and the people, uh, frankly speaking, hate, hate, hate him for that. Uh, it once more proves that some of the former Soviet Union republics after the collapse gained that independence without a blood. Nevertheless, that it happened in 1991. These events happened in 1990, but it was definitely the rose, the rise of the the national movement of Azerbaijan, and the main idea of the national movement of Azerbaijan was, was independence. And the Moscow was very actually concerned and afraid of that. And they gave the name to the employment of the troops, if I'm not mistaken, to, uh, to bring constitutional order to the republic where coup d'etat is planned or something like that, which was nonsense. <coughs> Did you see the movie, the, the pictures, where a husband and a wife, do they look like a terrorist or a child or uh, emergency car and, and so on and so forth? I wouldn't go back to the movie. My idea is that uh, we, we, have, uh, we have to do our best to bring the, the truth about that event uh, to the people who have to think how, how by such kind of movies, books, talks, um, which is very important. In my
my understanding, for the new generation of Azerbaijan, it's very important also uh, to know the history of the very young republic. And uh, their lives not went in vain, in my understanding, because you can see what is going on now in Azerbaijan. We lost lives of the people, and a couple of days before we celebrated the nine million citizens of Azerbaijan, we are now nine million. We are doing well, we have a good achievements, we are a uh, very strong, independent nation, our economy is doing well, and we, we must be proud of that. I mean, I, I have definitely everything is related. I mean, if the lives of those people, will, it, it, it is on the course, by the course of the life of those people, and that's why we have to, to remember them. And uh, I'm, uh, I would say just, uh, in a few words in Azerbaijani back. Yeah, I think it's a job to touch me in Azerbaijan in the army. It's in the country. I'm going to say that the Azerbaijan people are very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. They're very good. 20 yanvar hakkında hareketleri dünyaya, dünya ictimaiyetine, cemaata çatırak ve ben bir de Allah rahmet eylesin diyelim bütün bizim şehirlerine ve onların kuruluş alırsın. Ve size bir teşekkür bildiririm ki bugün gelip ve bizimle anlaştık bir dili de iştirak ediyorsunuz bu e, bile tedbirde 20 yanvar şehirlerine hasıl gösterebilir. Dikkat size bir teşekkür ederim. Ladies and gentlemen, Alibi. Um, a lot of uh, truth is uh, put in this film, and uh, our His Excellency said uh, what should have been said. And uh, I would like to add this that we have to still ask the question why Soviet Union first went to, to Baku? The Soviet Union went to Baku, to Azerbaijan, in order to frighten other his, his colonies. And she saw that by attacking Baku, she will kill two birds by one bullet, which is one, frighten other states, and also encourage Armenia to occupy Azerbaijan. There was a, this, policy of that. Otherwise, he didn't need, she didn't need such a big army. This was a big, exactly like a Second World War army. And in way invading small country like uh, Azerbaijan. So, the result was, as I uh, imported, as I re received the news, three o'clock in the morning, uh, in, nine, in 1990. Uh, in, in the morning at eight o'clock on BBC, Sky, and all uh, televisions, I announced that Azerbaijan is occupied and under uh, aggression, and so many people killed. Then we four days continued. So I said that, that Azerbaijan, the Soviet Union took the first step in the fall of the Eastern Empire. Therefore, this is still continues. It's still aggression is from uh, Armenians as continues. The result was our great, great people gave blood and the Kassir independence. This is valuable thing for us. Of course, in this independence, I must say that Pedi and the Elchebe played a very important role. Still, I would say that we are still uh, against uh, this empire and our occupied lands uh, should be uh, freed. And if it is not, recently President Hamaliev said the same thing that three years ago we discussed, and I'm glad that he repeat, repeated. If Armenians do not leave our land, Armenia belongs to Turks. We will not stop in our occupied land. We will actually demand our occupied land of the rest of Armenia. Ladies and gentlemen, the history is on our side. The history no 